an alert about emotional feeding. A new study shows that offering children food as either a comfort or a reward can lead to emotional eating and eventually obesity. Our senior medical contributor, Dr. Jen Ashton, is here with this story. And Jen, as a parent, you play a big role in shaping your, the eating habits of your kids. Yeah, I mean, there's no question. Are, are you guys emotional eaters? Hmm, I don't know. What, can I, I ask the so. audience? But How many in the audience raise your hand if you feel like you're an emotional eater? All right, so, I mean, there are definitely some people out there who recognize it, and then, of course, there'll be a lot who don't. So mm -hmm. what this study did is it really looked at, is there a relationship between emotional feeding, which means a parent who responds to the emotional state of their child by feeding that child, and by the way, usually we're talking about feeding things like this, yeah. <laughs> not yeah. like this. Yeah. No one says, oh, you're upset? Have a piece of broccoli. <laughs> I mean, it, it just doesn't happen. And so they did this study in Norway. They started with four-year-olds, then they followed them up at ages six, eight, and 10. And they did, in fact, find a relationship, a cascading effect between parents who fed those children when they felt like they were upset, and then uh -huh. emotional eating on the part of those children. And are there other patterns that are formed in childhood as well, besides emotional eating? No question, and we've heard a lot about them. Are you a picky eater? that kind of thing any parent of a toddler oh, yeah. can see that start at an early age do you graze or snack do you eat in front of the TV set and then there's some good habits that we can establish in childhood like are you eating as a family and that's been shown to reduce the risk of obesity yeah and, and after your description I don't think I'm an emotional eater mm -hmm. but for for parents out there who may recognize that they are or feeder how do you change that? What well, can you do? I, I think it's the same thing with any kind of parenting technique. You want to lead by example. You want to avoid using food as punishment or a reward. And then you want to talk about your emotions. All right. Mm. And I'm going to have a carrot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> have a carrot. That's right. Go to Healthy Route. Doc, thank you very much.